So the first time that your PCB valve is bad is that when you remove it and you give it a shake, you don't hear any rattling noise. If you don't hear any rattling noise, that means most likely the valve is probably stuck. And that's why you need to clean that to help free it up so it can start functioning. So now let's get on with how to clean the PCV. So basically this PCV, I got this removed from a Dodge. And you can tell there's, a, there's really a lot of oil build up inside of it. Let's see if I can get any oil to flow out of it. It's not. So there's a good amount of oil in it. And let's go ahead and clean it. So to clean the PCV, basically you can use three different products. You can use carburetor cleaner. You can use a brake cleaner. You can also use lacquer thinner. One of my favorite I like to use first is gonna be carburetor cleaner. So cleaning the PCV is extremely straightforward. All you gotta do is just spray inside it. Just keep cleaning it out. You want to keep cleaning it in until it's nice and clear. That's a lot of that's a lot of gunk removed. Again, just keep hitting it. The carburetor cleaner. You probably want to let it soak in there a bit. Swish it around a bit and keep doing it until it is clear. As you can see the fluid is almost clear. Next thing you want to do, you can use brake cleaner. This is probably going to be a much more aggressive. You just spray it in there. Oh yeah, it's really, it's really getting all of that out. Let's hit it on the other side. That is one dirty PCV. Let's hit it in there again. Let's try to finish it off with carburetor cleaner. So I can tell this PCV have never been cleaned. Also what you can do, you can just clean it, and just let it sit there for a bit. Just swish it around. Once you got that cleaned up, go ahead and wipe it clean. As you can tell, it's starting to rattle now. That means the balls are working properly and they are no longer stuck or sticky. Okay, so that's how you clean the PCV. It's extremely basic. And thank you for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs and give me a like. So the purpose of the PCV is to remove blow-by in the crankcase where it will be routed back into the intake where it will be uh, burned again in the combustion chamber. If blow-by is not eliminated and it stays in the crankcase, this will cause increased pressure in the crankcase and this can start to affect other components such as oil seal. Oil seal can start to leak. For example, the, uh, the oil pan gasket, the front seal, also known as the crankshaft seal, the uh, rear main seal, you can also have leak at the uh, camshaft seal, and so on. So those are some of the common causes and symptoms that's caused by a bad PCV valve. Also, if blow by linger long enough, it's gonna start to affect the um, the engine oil and it can cause it to sludge. So if you remove the uh, engine oil cap and you notice there's a lot of sludge, there's a good chance that the PCV is stuck closed and should be cleaned out or replaced.